Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on this HIS Radeon R7-260X card. Now this is the entry level card in comparison to the higher end R9-280X and R9-270X cards. There are some things I'd like to go over before getting into the card. And that is that you get the Ice QX2 cooler, which is the custom cooler, which is designed to run cooler and quieter than the reference cooler. You also get iPower, which is the power delivery design, which gives you more voltage and should help with better overclocking. And down here, using the iTurbo software, you can go ahead and overclock this card. One thing to note is this card does not come overclocked out of the box. And down here is um, something that tells you the memory. You get two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, 128-bit memory interface, 1625 megahertz memory clock, and finally, 100 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth. You also get a 28 nanometer Bonaire silicon graphics processor, the AMD Radeon R7-260X GPU, with a core clock of 1100 megahertz. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, it's a little bit cracked right now. And also, you, if you wish to run this card, you'll need a power supply of 500 watts or higher for dual card setup, 600 watts or higher. And now for some features at the back, you get AMD's iFinity technology, so you can set up to three displays. Also get AMD's second gen GCN technology, power tune technology, where the GPU clock gets modified depending on power draw, heat, and performance factors. And of course, AMD's app acceleration, where you can run multiple apps smoothly at max speed. Some other features here, such as solid state, full solid state capacitors and chokes for quality and durability of the card, and as well as some other features. It is compatible with DirectX 11.2, and this is cool. You also get AMD's true audio technology um, for programmable audio pipeline on the GPU, which enhances the audio realism. And this is a feature that this card shares with the higher end R9-290 series GPUs. Also, down here you get OpenGL 4.3 support, shader model 5.0, and 7.1 audio. Here is everything that comes in this particular box. Um, this is an early sample from HIS, so it does not come with the driver CD guide and the case badge, but the one you buy should definitely come with all that good stuff. Um, but for what I do have here, you get, what do you get? this uh, instruction to telling you where to slot in the card as well as how to transport it. If the graphics card is installed already in your system, make sure to transport it facing vertically, not horizontally, or it'll, it might fall off. And it also comes with a DVI-I to VGA adapter in case you have an older VGA monitor. Now onto the actual card. First, let's start off with a measurement, shall we? So from the bracket to the end, it a, should be a little, a little over 8 inches. And it comes with this plastic shroud that's made to look like metal, which is pretty cool. Um, I really couldn't tell at first, so I'm like, is it plastic or is it metal? But it's plastic. And it also comes with this honeycomb design along the edges. You get two 75 millimeter dual axial fans and they come with Q and C fan blades, and you get a lifespan of 50,000 hours. HIS logo right there. And let's move along to the back. I'll just face it this way. On the back, you get a kind of bluish greenish, which resembles like C colored PCB. These four screws here, you can remove to take off the custom cooler. You also get a PCI 3.0 connector right here, a crossfire connector here, so you can go ahead and set up that dual card configuration if that is what you desire. Also here is the six pin PCIe power connector. And let me just turn it around to here. I'm not sure if you can kind of see. Okay, you get three six millimeter heat pipes and a copper base for cooling. And here you'll see the fins better. You get 62 by 62 millimeter copper heatsink for heat dissipation, of course, along with the fans. And you'll notice that this shroud is a semi-closed design or semi-open, whichever you'd like. And finally, on the rear, you get 
some ventilation holes here. You also get full display port and HDMI port with a full max res, I mean max resolution of 20, 4096 by 2160. I'm sorry, that's what it is for the HDMI and display. And for the DVI connectors, you get DVI I and DVI D with max res of 2560 by 1600. Also, something to note is that for installation, you'll need two slots. There are just a few more straight specs I'd like to go through for those of you who might be curious about um, what they are about this card. So it comes with 896 stream processors on the graphics core next architecture. Also, with the iTurbo software, which I mentioned on the box, it can you can use it to read the fan speed and temperature, which is awesome. And a few more things is that you get 56 texture memory units and 16 raster operation units. And one last thing, with the 260X card, just move it real quick, you also get the NCP81022 controller, which is designed to handle the dynamic algorithm in the Bonaire GPU. That wraps up our overview on this HIS Radeon R7 260X graphics card. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel as well as our other YouTube channels. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.